now that you have finished the chapter my assumption is that you went in you watched the videos and you have tried to replicate what the teacher was teaching in your own lab systems but you had success sometimes and you may not had good success it really depends on how much you tried but now we are going to do a project a project where we have to kind of summarize some of the things not everything in this project to give you a little more hands-on experience with this chapter one so let's go back and I'll show you how to get to a sandbox you are going to go back to your practice labs click on it wait for a second or two and you will see this page will come up and here we will type 2019 so we're looking for the sandbox for 2019 server as I am basically showing that right now and we are going to click on launch button once we click on launch button you see this is your sandbox I highly assume you know how to launch a lab now so let's go ahead and do that and at this point uh, we have this topology but we don't need this we, we don't need none of these uh, topologies at this point we're just going to use one machine that will have virtualization enabled and I'm going to show you which one that is that is the P lab SA01 so we're going to use that till uh, then you have to wait for a few seconds for all of these machines to come up um, you may want to turn them on you don't have to turn them on we really don't need all of them to be turned on so we are just looking for one machine to be turned on you can change some settings to make it easy for you to view your machines like correctly I try to play around my browser uh, you know scrolling up and down a little bit with 80 90 so it depends on what you what you like so or what you see better so we are going to go ahead and turn on plab s01 because this is the server that we will be working on to so now here's the thing make sure when you turn the server on uh, we are not going to be able to support anything right now what we are doing so this is very important for you to understand inside the sandbox project we are doing something outside the scope of this course we want to help you but at the same time the things that we're doing in the sandbox are not supported by practice labs or JSS support so you must follow each step from the video and you will have no issue if you let's say skip this videos and you just try to do things on your own and then you are going to have issues if you try to send a ticket uh, we will reject that ticket immediately we will not support it that is simple warning that we like to help you but at the same time this type of stuff is not supported by any uh, of our services so let's go ahead and start uh, click clicking on the start menu in this server and let's click on Hyper-V manager now Hyper-V manager is like a virtualization technology inside the server only available in this server where you can go ahead and install a virtual machine operating system inside the server so you're going to learn how to install an operating system this way so you'll right click on the Hyper-V PLAB S01 click on new and click on virtual machine so this is going to create a virtual machine inside this uh, machine so now you see we're going to click on next and we're going to change this name to Windows 11 Win 11 so you can type the same thing Win 11 and click next and here you will be given uh, two options we'll keep the first one the generation one and uh, we're gonna go ahead and click next again and move on to the next uh, page and here we need to change this memory to four like four zero two four now remember you are using it this main server that has to be under that the RAM has to be under that so when we go to systems in this server and we check the RAM of this server we have 8 GB ram in this uh, uh you know server so we can easily use four because if you use more then of course things are going to get slower so four is fine i just change that to four and we're going to click next and we're going to just use this for connection purpose but there's no connection anyway so we're just going to pick one here we need to change this to 35 because our main system don't have too much space so if you look at it right now let's go back to the main server we have 50 GB free space so if we go back right now we can uh, still use 35 which is fine we're gonna click next here so here pick the second option because we're installing a, uh, an operating system from a file which is called ISO dot ISO because this is not a physical device that you can plug in the CD or USB so we need the ISO go to this PC and when you go to c drive the iso folder is there iso let's go ahead and double click on it and you will pick windows 11 pro 
So I'm going to go ahead and pick that and click on uh, open that and I'm going to click on next and then I'm going to go ahead and click on finish. And once I finish it, I still need to change one more thing in this virtual machine. We need to give it a little more CPU. So we're going to go back, right click on the virtual machine that we have just created. And we are basically going to uh, change this, the settings. So we're going to go to settings and click on the processor and change the processor to two and then click on apply and OK. OK, so now we are going to go back and right click on this and click on start or click on connect to. So start it and right click again and click on connect. And now it's basically starting your operating system inside this machine. This is why we call it virtualization. We're virtualizing an operating system in a new machine. And now we are installing Windows 11 on that machine. If this was a real laptop, you would plug in USB or CD and you would do the same process, turn on the device from the USB, USB or CD. So now we're going to go ahead and click on next to, to basically continue this setup. Click on install now. So because we're installing Windows 11, it's probably not going to work in the beginning. We have to change things. Now in real businesses, maybe this is not required. You don't have to do this step, but in this lab, you have to do this. You pick Windows 11 Enterprise and click on next and you see you will get an error. We have to fix this error by closing this box that you see and then we will change some settings. So let's go ahead and click on X and close it and let's go ahead and change that. So here you need to make sure you click on repair your computer. Don't close anything. Click on repair your computer. Then you're going to see some options from operating systems. You're going to click on troubleshoot and then you will click on command prompt. What you're doing is you're trying to add something to this installation so then we can change things around. In this uh, box, you're going to type reg edit, registry edit, reg edit. Now here you're basically going to uh, add some settings. So let's go ahead and expand HK local machine you're going to click on system and then in system you're going to click on setup and you will right click on the setup folder and then we will basically add a new key so you need to make sure you type everything exactly the same way here you will type lab config just like how i'm typing it right now you're going to type lab with capital c config lab is capital l lab config then inside the lab config folder you're going to right click and we will create two keys and right click click on d word sorry uh, not the key d word value and then here you're going to type the same exact thing that i'm typing bypass by capital b y and then bypass and you're going to type tpm and then check and then you're going to type the c capital just it's exactly same make sure you Pause the video and um, do this. Click on modify and then you will change the value from zero to one. And there you go. Now we are going to add another key as well because it requires two keys for it to work. Uh, another, sorry, D value, I'm always saying key. So we're gonna go ahead and D value uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, add this new key. We're going to type bypass secure with capital s and then boot with capital b and then check with c capital so then of course you need to modify that and you will change the zero to one and there you go so we're going to close this box now remember don't close everything you're going to close this box and then you're going to uh, close the, 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 you don't close anything after that. You will type setup inside the CMD. This is very important step. Do not close anything. You will type setup and it will re reopen the setup again. And now you will see that it's a little different setup. It's the same setup, but it's just coming from uh, inside. Now, when I click on windows 11 enterprise and click next, you see that it will let me install that. Now, if you ask me, does is this how uh, this is how you're going to install Windows 11 on, on all the laptops? You don't do that. So here you have two options: upgrade and custom. Of course, we're customizing a brand new operating system. We'll uh, pick a custom. This is where you added that 35 GB RAM. You're going to install an operating system on this virtual machine. 
Now it's pretty easy when you plug in a CD or USB in a laptop and everything is just smooth, you don't have to do anything, but the, in a virtualization environment, things sometimes doesn't work. And this is one of the solutions that we found on Google. So you could find anything on Google if things are not working, but this is how you fix things in this uh, virtual machine. Uh, you cannot make any mistakes over here. So once it's done, you're gonna go ahead and restart and then it will restart with Windows 11 setup and that's where you will basically uh, start the whole setup. So this is the initial setup of any operating system like Windows 10 or Windows 11. You're gonna get this information like when United States, you will pick the keyboard, you will uh, just pick the basic stuff which you need to uh, do in the beginning. We're going to click on us right here we're going to skip things over here uh, we don't need to add a layout we're going to go ahead and skip that make sure you follow exactly same the things that i'm doing as i mentioned before there's no internet so we're going to leave this and we're going to say we i don't have internet and we'll just continue with i don't have internet and we will continue to set up this operating system continue with limited setup we're going to do that for now because we don't have internet connection here and then here of course it's going to ask you for the name i am going to just put a member in there and then i'm going to add a password in this uh, so then i can move on with the setup now in the company usually of course you will ask your manager your co-workers and they will guide you on this sort of setup they will have some sort of pre-built templates or you know things like what you need to put for security and all of that stuff is given to you in a company but in this lab examples you want to do this because you know you want to do this hands-on what are you going to expect if you're going to install a new operating system and i can guarantee you that you will be installing operating system so here just put anything you like to complete the setup of these security questions and then move on to the next uh, part of this setup so next, of course, you're going to see more information. You, you're you free to change things around, but remember that anything you do in this operating system right now in this one session is gonna stay, but after you restart this whole operating system, uh, sorry, the whole lab, everything will go away. So you keep this session live till you finish everything for this project. When you restart this operating system for the first time, you're going to see generic information from Windows 11, like start menu, uh, play around with it. You have learned this in in this chapter. It's not so, not something new to you at this point But because you just installed it, you know now how fresh operating system looks like So it's a great time to just go and play around with try to look for command line system system information How do you add a user all that stuff? Play around with it for a little while, but you don't want to spend too much time So then of course you want to do this project in one go of this lab and that's why you have done all of this stuff. So go ahead and just first uh, kind of play around with it and then complete the project and then submit it in this uh, cha uh, chapter uh, project that we're giving it to you. So here you see I'm showing you version, different type of settings over here. And that's it. At this point, you have done complete following of this project and now you will follow the quiz where you will be inside this machine. Do not close your lab. You will be inside this machine and you will be actually answering the quiz questions in your course. So you will be able to complete the whole uh, project for points. Once you answer the first three questions, then you will go back to your sandbox and you will not use the PLAB SA01 where your Windows 11 machine is. You can turn it off. We don't need that anymore. It will be wiped off when you do that. So we're not gonna use that anymore. You're gonna come back to your other machines in your sandbox. So the first question we will ask you in the sandbox is to identify which Windows machine is on what group and which machines are connected to a domain. Which means is this. We will ask you, is PLAB Win 10 being managed by an Active Directory or is it connected to a domain controller or Active Directory? Yes or no? And we will ask you PLAB Win 101 is disk machine on a domain or not? Is this just on work group? Can it, can it be managed by other machines right now or do you have to do something with it? So you have to find that out. Again, if you're new and you're kind of getting confused with domain and Active Directory and you haven't grasped that knowledge yet, it's okay. 
you will move on because you don't want to get into that deep level understanding right from the chapter one that's what confuses you so you have to learn more because you need to understand this in a sequence and other courses in future after this course will teach you most of this knowledge and even in this course you're going to learn a lot but you're not going to get stuck in trying to understand every single thing over here that's not how we teach things Another question you will be asked to find out an Active Directory out of all of these machines, which machine have Active Directory and it will ask you to verify some information. So you will basically let us know which machine had, have Active Directory and you will give us some information on that. That will be another quiz uh, question. Now the last question in this is going to be finding out an IP address of all of the machines. Uh, sorry, all of the machines mean PLAB DC01, DM01, PLAB SA01. PLAB Win 10 and PLAB Win 101 and we're not going to touch Linux because we don't teach Linux too much in this type of fundamentals. So you're going to just find an IP addresses of all of these machines and you will submit that and that will conclude your project and then you can shut this machine uh, lab down.